Well, good morning guys. We're uh, packing up, heading out of Blowing Rock, heading northbound. Got a 200 mile day ahead of us. Uh, breakfast was, uh, for me it was uh, some instant grits, and for Miriam it was... Oh, overnight oats with... Overnight oats. With um, chia seeds and... With chia seeds and such. <laughs> I, I'm old school. I just had some grits. Why so light? Gosh, gosh, we've been eating so much. You know, the food bag we brought doesn't look like it's even down any in inventory. But we do have two more days, so. Three more days. Well, we made it on our, our departure time. It's about five minutes to eight. On the road, there's a, maybe a half mile, quarter mile from the Blue Ridge Parkway. We're just going to top off the gas tanks. We're just a little bit above half. And uh, uh, the GPS took me to two places that said there were gas stations. And they were uh, one of them was an empty lot. The other one it was something else. And I had just updated the GPS before last year's Asphalt Odyssey with all the waypoints. And apparently within the, since the waypoints were updated, Lord knows how, the da how old the database was when I actually, when I, got to download. Anyway, <laughs> we have not passed the gas station yet. But it's okay. Destination today is the Peaks of Otter Lodge just outside of Roanoke. Actually, it's more close to Bedford, Virginia. Been there a couple times. Today, we'll, uh, we're going to be covering 200 miles. A little bit more than I had to uh, all I had planned for, but that's how much. So. Well, of course, I didn't have my camera on, but we just passed the state line, so we're now in Virginia, leaving North Carolina, and we've also left the Highlands portion of the uh, parkway and moving to the Plateau region of the parkway. So we'll see what that, uh, what difference that makes in terms, in terms of the uh, topography. But. Uh, it's still about 70 degrees, a little bit on the cool side, which is great for riding. Really enjoying that. Miriam had mentioned that we are in the plateau section of the Blue Ridge Parkway. Here's a shot from Google Earth from one of the overlooks along the Blue Ridge Parkway that we stopped at. Off to the right, it descends into the Piedmont area. We are currently driving along a large, broad plateau, which extends all the way north to Rono. The plateau is approximately 500 feet higher than the Piedmont section just next to it. 
gorgeous, gorgeous morning. We are approaching Maybreeze Mill, which is our lunch destination. That'll be a nice treat. John's been craving a hamburger. Here we are. It's not even 11.30. Looks like a crowd has gathered already. Mabry Mill, let's go get us some lunch. I hope. Back's locked up. That's a salad. That is a big salad. It is very big. Like and that is a too. cheeseburger. Well, for the first time on this trip, I finally break down and get a cheeseburger. But strangely enough, my french fries just kept disappearing. After lunch, we head north on the parkway, only to learn that approximately a five-mile section is closed because of a bridge outage. This nice gentleman is going to lead us off the parkway because we're learning that... Uh there's a bridge out up ahead. It's been out for three months, apparently. And uh, not sure that a detour is marked, so. Elevation is not quite 3,000. When we were at the Pisca Inn, we were at uh, more than 5,000 feet elevation. I didn't realize how short our Virginia mountains are. The time in Roanoke and the the heat gave us such a, an appreciation for what we were enjoying on the parkway. It was like 95 degrees in Roanoke. So we got back at 460, which is about milepost 105, which means that we are completely out of the plateau region. We are now in the ridge region, which is the region that we're most familiar with, the, the area of the Blue Ridge Parkway that we ride most frequently. But whew, so so glad to be back on the parkway. Air quality is better, the temperatures are lower, the scenery is prettier, and there's shade. We are really close. We're going to see peaks of otter any minute. Not used to coming in from this direction. Uh, sharp Top Mountain up ahead, the high peak there. And there it is, Peaks of Otter. I don't recall the name of the lake, but it's quite pretty. And there's a... <sighs> we are here. It's 
our longest travel day and we made it. Well, we made it to Peaks of Otter. We made it to Peaks of Otter. Speaking to you through the mask, we have to go this way, I guess. Okay. And uh, settle into the room. A little early for dinner yet. So Miriam and I have come to a conclusion. We took a vote and it's unanimous. Very good. Thank you, sir. All right. How are you? We uh, left the pub after our delicious martinis. We're uh, trying to consume the, some of the food we brought. You know, the food bag, it doesn't seem like it's gone down to any, even though we've been eating out of it for the entire, most of the trip, except for a few meals. And tonight, I'm having chili mac, which is actually pretty good. And Miriam is having? Beef chili, courtesy of Wild Zora. Beef chili, Wild Zora. I don't know why I repeat everything she says. <laughs> but uh, we basically it involves boiling water from my camp stove, which I carry with me everywhere. And we just heated that up. We wait for it to rehydrate because it's dehydrated. We have a very nice uh, meal. I haven't got that part yet. But uh, the reason we're out on our little patio here at the Peaks of Otter is because, is because of this view of the lake at uh, the Peaks of Otter. Abbott Lake, and up there is Sharp Top Mountain, and I have stood on top the tallest rock twice. There is a bus service that takes you up almost to the summit. You have to walk the last 50 yards on your own, and uh, and if you're so inclined, there's a hiking trail that uh, goes up there. I did that once when I was in my uh, early 20s. It wiped me out, and from that point forward, we took the bus. You choose. It was a good day. A lot of miles. Yeah. 200 miles to be exact and we made it. And my trepidation was unwarranted. Uh, we knocked it out in pretty short order. And, uh, so. It was really nice. <clears throat> we left Blowing Rock early as we planned. And yes. The temperature was in the 60s, which was fantastic. The only disappointment was having to go off the parkway because of the the road closure. So, and we missed about 30 miles on the parkway around uh, Bent Mountain. So we did not ride the complete parkway. So the only solution is we're going to, have to come back and do it again. Yeah, yep, I think so. <laughs> you know, we are, we're two more days before we head home, and the thoughts are on bigger and bolder trips. <laughs> you know, the Asphalt Odyssey 2021 is still throwing ideas against the wall and see what sticks, but I'm looking forward to something big next year. So something next spring. So we'll see what happens. We shall see. Yes. So uh, till tomorrow. Guys, thanks for watching. No, it won't be tomorrow for you, it'll be next week, but thanks for watching. Yeah, y'all take care. Bye-bye. Good night. <laughs>